Hello and welcome to the RMIT Group Fitness Online Program presented to you by RMIT Sports and Fitness. My name is Kat and I will be instructing you through about 25 minutes of HIT today. We're going to be using just body weight. Hope you enjoy the class and it's great to have you here. Let's go. All right, we're going to work through cardio HIT today. So I've got uh, four rounds in total. We're going to work 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off and we've got two exercises per round. So I've done a really good combination of body weight here. Just do body weight and get the range and work on movement and explosiveness out after we've loaded the move up. So I've got my timer here. We're going to start with a warm up and I've got 1.30 on the clock. So for our warm up, we're just going to get ready to go. So I want you to take a long step back and rotate to the opposite knee. Big step in that lunge, hips stay square. And you want to just rotate through the upper body to give you a bit of stretch through the lower back. All right, we're going to do a couple more. And then we're going to hit some squats. So feet outside your hips, down and up. All right. So butt to knee line, knees go out, arms nice and relaxed. You're going to shake it out, chill. From here, feet wide, we're going to squat down, crawl forward, plank position, push up on your knees or toes, and then crawl back into squat, stand up. It's so a bit of functional warm up here. Like I said, knees or toes, just to get the body warm. The abs connected and the body working together. So I'm gonna keep you going with that while I explain your two moves. So the first set's really easy and basic, so we're gonna get you going, get the legs ready and warm. We have squats for the first 20 seconds. We then have squat jumps for the next 20 seconds. Every time a break comes up, take it. Shake it out and relax. We don't wanna continually work, we wanna work in that hit phase where we work on and off. All right, we're going to get ready to go. Your first set starts in three, two, and one. Squat down and up. So butt to knee line, knees track out. And we want great technique here. So I want you to think about your core. Brace the belly as you move. And we move down and up by bending the knees and sitting the hips back. Two, and stop there. Shake the legs. We're going into our jump. So feet reset where they were. Squat jump in two and one. Let's go. So swinging the arms, bending the knees, and pushing out of the ground in that squat jump. If you don't want to jump, not a problem. Squat and then lift up onto the heels. Squeezing the glutes at the top of the move. So you're still getting this great connection through the body. Up. Or you might want to do one jump and then one heel lift. Stop there. 10 second recovery. Back to our squats. Feet reset. Belly tight, two and one, down and up. As we progress, I'm gonna give you a few little challenges. I'm not telling you yet, I'll tell you later. All right, so let's work on the range. Bend the knees and then push out of the ground, squeezing the glutes at the top. So you want the glutes and the hips to come forward, nice and tight. So you get that strong connection from the upper back to the lower legs, stop there. Squat jump. All right, two and one. And we really want to drive out of the floor. So it's a big explosive move. The arms are your power drive. So as you move your arms, swing it back and then reach as high as you can so you get height on the jump. That's going to increase your heart rate and make you work harder. All right, two and one. 20 seconds is a long time. All right, back to squats. All right, two and one, let's go. Now you just gotta trust me that I'm not making up the time here. All right, take it down quick and hold, and then slowly climb, bit of a test of the challenge. Pull up, brace, down hold, and that down holding makes you engage your core. So you're working harder through the body to control that movement pattern. Two, and shake. All right, on the squat jump, we're gonna go for height. So I want you to jump as high as you can and then squat as low as you can to get up higher. Two and one. So squat down, jump, stop. Squat down, jump, stop. So you got a little bit more control on the way down. Hold, then swing and jump. And you feel that load in the quads and the legs. Your hips are shooting back so we've got the heels grounded before we go and lift up that body. Two and stop. Two rounds to go. All right, this time, super slow. Running two and one. So we go down, 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 and push. 
down, 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 push. Now the push is strong. It's almost like a jump. So you want to simulate what you would in your jump. Push. Heels push apart. Drive up. Belly's still tight and freeze. One more set of that squat jump. Again, going for height. Load and explode. Making our legs stronger. Two and one. So load, jump. Load, jump. Take that second to chill and then drop the hips by bending the knees. Up. You should be feeling your legs getting really heavy by now. It's harder to get high off the ground. I want you to do your best to get from start to finish. Two seconds and freeze. Shake it out, one minute recovery. Have a drink, wipe up any of your sweat. And let's talk about round two. Round two, two new moves. One's the mountain climber, and the other one is a push up with a row. With the mountain climber, we're engaging the upper back. So we want our hands under our shoulders and our body weight forward. Shoulders set back and down. Our mountain climber knees come in. You can walk or you can run. Really important that the hips stay down and the abs stay tight. Move two, hands wide. We have a push up with a row. So we're integrating some pull and push work. One push up, pull the hand to the armpit. Push up, other hand comes to armpit. You can do the same move on your knees or on your toes. Just keep the arm close as you pull in. We're already ready to start the next round. So setting up into your mountain climber, hands on the shoulders, body weight forward. We run. Let's go, 20 seconds. So knees come forward, upper body nice and still. If that's too much, take down the impact and focus on the knee drive. This move works into the core. So you to make sure that the muscles are moving well as the knee drives through. Stop there. Shake it out, roll the shoulders. Set the hands wide. Best way to set up is thumbs in line with the armpits, body weight forward, knees or toes, Let's go, one push, one lift. Now knees hip width apart is gonna give you balance. As you pull the arm up, push the other hand down into the floor so you maintain stability. Up. Now if that's too much, just stay with a regular push up. Still getting an amazing workout. Stop there, even if you don't hit some of those high levels. Back to mountain climber. Reset, push your palms into the ground. Let's go. Drive forward. And if you've got some music on in the background, try and hit the beat. We go one, two, one, two, one, two. Now as we start to fatigue, I want you to think about your core muscles. The core is what drives the knee. So the tighter it is, the better for, uh, the knee drives in. Stop there. Same with the row. The tighter the core, the easier it is to lift your arm. Reset hands wide, body weight forward. All right, ready to go. Now, down and up, down and up. Now notice that my hips aren't swinging and I'm not tipping. If you can feel your hips tipping and you're on your toes, take it to your knees. Focus on bracing your core as your hand lifts and then pushing the elbows out as you drop into push up. Two and stop. Whew. Back to that mountain climber. Should be feeling that tension in your upper back now. Drive it. Shoulders back, let's go. Now we focus on the legs this time. Pull the knee right up towards your chest. You wanna feel that power push out of the toe. So you get length and then drive. Similar to a high knee run when the knees come up in front. You want that same sort of action that drives the knee forward. Two and one, stop there. Back to push up. Hopefully you're feeling a bit of a sweat and the upper body's starting to get a little tired. How about we try one on our toes? What do you reckon? Down and up. Now, even if it's one, it's one more than the last time. They're really tricky. Your focus is to keep your hips and shoulders square so your abs are tight, upper body is working hard to lower the body up and down. Uh, two and one, stop. Oh, two sets to go, one of each. We wanna drive fast and we wanna get a few push-ups in. Ready, go. Now how fast can you run? If you can't, that's okay, but I want you to challenge yourself if you can. If you're going, this is too easy, Kat, I can do it better than this, then drive the knee lower to the ground 
and pull the knee in higher. That's gonna make you work a lot harder without adding too much load to the body. Stop. Oh, one more, push-ups. We're gonna get back up to our feet after this one. So let's work hard in that upper body. Hands wide, let's go. Can you get lower? How about chest just below the elbow height? Drive up, down, and up. Keep the hips square, squeeze the glutes, hold the body still. Five seconds to go. And you can do it, keep pushing the ground away and freeze. All right, three and four coming up. We need to back up to our feet, give our arms a little bit of rest and focus on balance and power. The first move is an air jack. I'm gonna show you heaps of options for this one. But what I wanna see is bend knees, arms go out in, out in. You can do it slow and use your arms for drive or you can go quick. Or you can take it low and keep it strong, okay? The second move works balance. We're gonna do a skater, side to side. Knees out and hips back. You can go high or you can go low. If you go low, you stay low and step long, keeping the knees bent. All right, we're gonna start with that air jack. 10 seconds. All right, so nice bend in the knees, feet under the hips. We're on in, three, two, and one. Let's go. So feet, arms out in, bend your knees to land, and then shoot back out of the floor. Keeping in mind, if you don't wanna jump off the ground, stay low. But when you jump, push your hips back, knees and toes go out, make it safer for your joints. Three seconds, two, and one. Skater, Whew, going side to side. And when you get the rhythm before, we start to add power. So, skater in two, and one. Right, then left. Front knee out, lean forward just slightly, and land heel to toe. Arms up in front of the chest, it's gonna keep you lifted in the chest and the abs tight. If you need that lower option, whenever you need it, you take it. Your workout, your choice. But just step low, keep the knees bent as you step and your hips nice and squared. Rest there. Oh, I missed the rest. We're gonna jump again. Two and one, let's go. Up, pushing out of the ground. You wanna drive your arms up to the corners. Whew. Anytime you need to take out that impact, but I want you to make sure that you always bend your knees as you land. Really important because it helps us drive up higher to the ground. It also supports the body where you're gonna feel it the most. Recover, skater. Whew. Three, two, and one, let's go. Now if you know this move, go wider. So start to travel across the ground. Imagine you've got a piece of log or a weight or something that you wanna jump over. That'll give you distance. And then as you move, push through the floor to get to the other side. That'll engage your glutes to get you stronger. Stop there, halfway through. All right, back to air jacks. All right, two and one, go. Can you reach higher? How about moving quicker? Arms in, out quick, out quick. Feel your heart rate lift real quickly as you drip up to the floor. Oh. Whew. Heart rate gets up quick. Do five and then take a rest. Whatever you need to do, we get you to the end of that 20 seconds. Stop. Skater. Whew. You starting to feel it too? I hope you are. I am. Ready, go. And the best way to push is your own. So bodyweight workouts are fantastic because they increase your heart rate, they increase your fitness, and they make you feel stronger in the body and in the mind. So this time I'm gonna push, push. Try and get a little further each time. Little pause as you stop. Freeze. Two to go. Whew. Oh. All right, air jacks. Last time. Go. You can do it, come on. Let's do it together. Oh, pick a number and go with it. Might be five. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, you got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop, one more, skater. 
and then we have one more round after that. All right. Uh, let's focus on drive, distance, and load. And work the skater harder, land and bend the knee. Really land into the glute and then push to the side. That's how we make the move harder. We don't want to have our legs straight because they're going to start to hurt very quickly. Cool. Three seconds. Two. And stop. All right. One more. Have a drink. Recover. The last round is the best round. We have burpees as you go in there. Well, if we're doing body weight, we should be doing burpees. That's okay, I'm bringing them to you. Now the burpee is your choice how you do them. You can jump up, you can add a push up, you can walk it back, whatever you like. But what I see is the basics. So we want to squat, plank, squat and stand. You can add your jump to that. We want to focus on that core, keep it strong. Here's where I'm going to put you in a bit of a challenge. We're going to hold a hover. As soon as I say stop for that 20 seconds, we're not going to have the rest. We're going to get straight to the ground. We're going to hold our hover for 30 seconds. This is where we're going to build up our strength. So elbows under shoulders, knees or toes, whatever works best for you. But it's a 30 second hold. We're good to go, right? We can do it. Let's start with the burpee. You're on in. Three, two, and one. So squat plank, squat stand, or squat and then jump. If you don't want to jump today, squat, walk both feet back, both feet in and then stand up. Fantastic way to build up your upper body strength. So focus on pushing through the floor. As your legs go back, keep the center of the body still so you've got that power to push back. Stop there. Hover, Whoa, straight down, look I even forgot. All right, knees or toes. Your 20 seconds starts now. Now if you're on your toes, legs long, abs tight, push forward. Your eye gaze should be over your thumbs and you wanna look up. No looking down at your feet because you're gonna feel a lot of pressure in your lower back. If you are feeling pressure, drop down to your knees and focus on your belly, pull it in tight. Two and one, stop. Crawling back. Whew. All right, burpees. Three, two and go. Now your focus this round is the squat. So I want you to squat down before your feet jump back. What that does is it engages your glutes. You've got more power to jump in out fast. Again, adding speed to our workout. So we add pace and we increase our fitness. Oh. Hover, get down. And I'm gonna show you a trick of the hover. Press your knuckles together, thumbs together, elbows on the ground, feet outside your hip width. Whether you're on your knees or your toes, keep your toes down. That's to support your back needs. Bit of an anchor. You got 10 seconds to go. Keep pushing your forearms into the ground. Hold tight. Notice that any option is a good way to get through the end. And stop. Okay. For you hardcore burpee lovers, we're going to make it 10. Can you get 10 done in 20 seconds? We can give it a go. Two and one. Let's go. One, two, with or without jump, three, four. Bend those knees, get the depth to take your feet back real fast and I promise you'll get those 10 done. And like I said, I don't care how you've done them, whatever number you get to, you're gonna use it in the last round. Stop, hover, oh, I need to get my breath back. If you're feeling the same, take a second. Whew. All right, 20 seconds. Body forward, last time, squeeze the core in tight. Oh, second last time. Deep breath. Breathe in, breathe out. You got seven seconds, you can do it. Three, two, and relax. Okay, so what number did you get to? 10, nine, eight, seven, three, four, doesn't matter. Let's try and beat that number now. Two and one. So whatever number you got to, do it to the end. Let's go. If you get to nine, then stop at nine. You wanna try that challenge? Try get to 10. If you got to five, that's okay. We are building strength. So the more you do this, the stronger you're gonna get. Two and one. Last time hover. Whew. We're almost there. No point to give up now. Just choose your best option. 20 seconds to go. 
eyes looking a meter in front. As we fatigue, our body starts to do funny things. I want you to pull the belly in tight. I want you to listen to your body. Is your back sore? And drop to your knees. Take an easier option to get you to the end. Stay strong, two and one. All right, stretching back. Big release, you wanna push your knees out and you wanna sit your hips back towards your heels. That'll help you open the hips up from our big movements that we've just done. From there, we're gonna bring one leg forward into hip flexor stretch. So tuck in the knee under, so you wanna push through, like Michael Jackson sort of tuck under, lift up, and then we reach the arm up and rotate around. Now that rotation around just loosens up the lower back from the burpees, from the jumps, we'll feel a bit tight through the hips. So we wanna release that tension. Come back to center if you need a bit more. Push forward just a little, have a look at your knee. The knee can be slightly forward of the ankle, but no further. The stretch you wanna feel is through your hip flexor, inner thigh and quad. If we go too far, we tend to overstretch. So just that little stretch, still tuck in the hip under to feel that relief. Hips get very tight and the moves we've done are quite intensive on the legs and the hips to make sure that we stretch what we can. Tuck under, lift up, arms come up and around. Ooh. Sweaty? <laughs> Hope so. All right, come through, push forward just a little bit, but the knee stays over the ankle just slightly forward. Still tucking the hip under, feeling that release. All right, pull back, hamstring release. So toe to the roof, legs straight or slightly bent. Hands can reach the ground if you can't get there. Hands on your hips and push your bum back. So you want to feel that stretch from the back of the knee to the glute. All right, other side. All right, as with any workout, if you feel you need some more stretch later on, take it. Really important that we lengthen out the muscles from all that hard work we've done and that we feel better tomorrow. Water is really important too, so drink your water up. The next half an hour or so, get some good carbohydrates into you, some protein, so I think some avocado on, with eggs on toast. Really great combination to get you re-energized and feeling better quick. All right, two more stretches. We can stretch out our arms, the shoulder stretch from the push-ups and the rows. And the other side, and we'll get a chest stretch in there as well. Yeah, open up the chest, push your arms out wide, pull the shoulders back and down towards the ribcage. And give yourselves a big clap. Awesome work. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.